Hey guys, Derpy here. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a video discussing which Claymore is better for Razor. Snowtomb Star Silver or Prototype Animus? Snowtomb Star Silver is the most recent Claymore in the game, and you can get it for free by exploring Dragonspine. If you don't know how, you can try and search for it yourself, or you can look up a video on how to get it. Once you get the weapon, you also unlock the recipe to craft it. Now, Prototype Animus, now renamed to Prototype Archaic, has been in the game for a while, and this has been the go-to free-to-play Claymore for Razor mains. Right off the bat, I'm just going to say that I think Animus is better, and this is according to calculations I did. And what I found is that the damage Animus does is pretty much better in all cases. There are cases where Star Silver is better, but once again, the damage disparity just seems to be very small, and it seems to be mostly in favor of Animus. Now, if you continue watching this video, I'll go over the numbers, as well as some reasons for why Animus is better than the Star Silver. And I'm going to go over situations where Star Silver might be the better weapon. So let's take a quick look at these two weapons. You can see that they have the exact same base attack. So we don't have to worry about that when we compare them. Now, where they differ is their substat and their passive. Snowtomb Star Silver gives physical damage bonus, whereas Prototype Archaic gives attack percent. Now, the thing about elemental damage bonuses is that they only benefit a part of the character's damage. In this case, it only benefits the passive damage from the weapon itself and Razor's normal attacks. Also, another thing about Star, Star Silver is that it's passive, even though it's an icicle that drops and deals damage, it actually does physical damage, not a cryo damage, like you might expect. Now, based on what I've calculated, refinements don't r really change which weapon is better than the other, uh, but I am going to assume that both we weapons are at refinement too. However, I do expect most people to have Refinement 1 uh, Star Silver and Refinement 2 Animus, just because Star Silver recently came out. So you might think that Star Silver is the better weapon for Razor because Razor does primarily physical damage. I find that this is not the case. Razor actually does quite a bit of electro damage. From my calculations, it's about a 70 to 30 ratio of physical damage to electro damage. Now, I do believe he actually does more electro damage than this because in practice, you're not going to be getting as many full rotation of normal attacks off. And Razor's normal attacks uh, does the most damage on the fourth attack. And since it's going to be rare that you're going to get to this, I don't think he'll be doing as much physical damage. The passive on Star Silver does more, do more damage than Animus. Uh, at each refinement level, but I find that this isn't enough to make up for what Prototype Animus provides. Let me explain. Okay, so I'm going to break it down into two cases now. The first case is when Cryo is not in effect, and the passive from Star Silver does the lesser of its two passive damages. In this case, the damage from the Icicle is about 51% of that from Animus is passive. Now, in terms of total damage output in the attack sequence, this means that Star Silver only does 95% of Animus's total damage. In the Cryo case, where Cryo is in fact, and Star Silver does the higher of its two passive damages, the Icicle damage output is about 130% of that of Crushes. Now, this brings Star Silver's total damage output to about 98% of that of Animus's. Still does not overcome it. In conclusion, Animus is generally better than Star Silver in terms of total DPS output. Now, depending on base attack, Star Silver could be better, but this only applies at very, very low levels. The passive on Star Silver could be stronger than the passive on Animus, but this only happens when cryo is constantly applied, which isn't necessarily realistic. Now, 
Situationally, Star Silver could also be better than Animus, such as when the enemies you're facing have very low physical resistance or have very high electro resistance. Certain domains also penalize electro reactions, which means physical damage is the, and normal attacks are the only way to go. In any other case, however, Animus is just better, especially against enemies with higher physical resistance. And at higher base attacks, Animus will get increasingly better than Star Silver. So as for what you should do, if you lack resources, Animus is definitely the way to go. As for which one you would want to refine, it's Animus, especially at this point in the game, you probably already have a higher refinement Animus than you have Star Silver since Star Silver just came out. If you made the mistake of refining Star Silver with your prototype Claymores, that's okay. Star Silver is still a very good weapon on Razor. The damage be difference between the two weapons is very small. And I don't think you have to worry about upgrading the wrong one. Anyway, that's just my opinion on which weapon is better for Razor. Now, if you're curious on how I got my numbers and what kind of calculations I did, I'm not really prepared to explain that yet, but please let me know in the comments if you, you want me to. I do have a link in the description that gives inf more information on what I did, as well as all my results. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and good luck on the Ganyu banner.